Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. We're going to be breaking down everything that's included in it, going over the pricing, comparing it and all that kind of stuff to see what you're saving, what you're getting, all that tremendous stuff. All this is down to one chap called Notler. Um, I've included his uh, link to his blog post where I'm referencing most of this information from in the description. I'll also put it at the top of the comments of the video. I'll stick it up there. Please go over, give him a thumbs up because he's done some tremendous work breaking this down and listing everything that we should be getting in this subscription-based magazine. So for those of you who don't know what Warhammer 40,000 Conquest is, it is a subscription-based service. It's a magazine. It's got to run for 80 issues. So once a week, you're going to receive a new Warhammer 40,000 Conquest magazine. You're going to be getting stuff like models with it, dice, paints, um, um, paintbrushes, all that kind of cool stuff that you associate with uh, Warhammer 40,000. Now, when I first signed up with it, it only had one kind of subscription, which was a normal subscription, but now they've added a premium subscription, and the image in the background more or less states what the premium subscription is. It says, still want more? Choose a premium subscription. To receive four premium war gear sets to enhance your gameplay, including exclusive fold-out gaming boards, dice, reference cards and more and that is for an extra 150 a magazine so if you went with a standard issue so if you if you went completely standard and you didn't go um uh, premium it's got to cost you around 625 pound for the entire 80 issues but if you went premium then it's got to cost you 745 pound with uh, you know with all the 80 issues so that's an increase of 120 pound now we don't well it, it does say what you get gaming boards dice reference cards and more we don't know what the more is let's say i don't know if that's going to include certain uh, models which we're going to be going through in a, in a second hopefully not because i hate them to be uh, hide certain things behind a paywall i would like them to add more exclusive models to this because there is already an exclusive model included in this so hopefully we can get more of that and more like awesome stuff we can only get through this magazine i think i think that would be a really good way to sell it to make people subscribe and stuff um like that now let's just jump in and look at the cool stuff it's it's absolutely amazing what you actually get in this warmer 40,000 conquest i was kind of surprised with all the stuff so uh once again thank you for notly for breaking all this down this is the death guard stuff so we'll start with death guard and then we'll go with adept as the starters and then we'll go and jump in with what scenery you get and stuff like that so the death guard let's uh, go with them first so um according to this image because this is the image that they release in the trailer and everyone's breaking down and stuff notly did the best job 26 pock walkers so um, that's from the dark imperium and first strike might be more they're hard to count uh the malignant plague caster uh, the lord of contagion the noxus blight bringer the Fotib bloat drone all of them are from the dark imperium box set now you get plague marine champions which are 15 pound which is really really good uh, 12 chaos cultists which is six pound per box so there's two boxes worth included the plague marine icon bearer which is 15 pound easy to build mythic blight hauler which is 15 pound foul blight spawn which is 15 pound scribrious wretch uh, the talisman which is 15 pound nauseous rot born which is 15 pound biologious purifier which is 15 pound don't care us have the most wonderful names chaos rhino which is 23 pound fifth there easy to build felfetus and the tainted cohort which is 25 pound typhus which is absolutely amazing on the tabletop he hurts me so much which is 25 pound two chaos spawns and a plague burst crawler which is 40 pounds so the estimated death guard value is 315 pounds 50 pence that's just for the death guard that's not including the adeptus starters which we're going to jump into now so moving on to the most glorious piece of people in this absolute magazine is the adeptus starters you have to go loyalist or you're doing it wrong and you should be purged of course so from the loyalist standpoint you're getting free intercessors that's from the first strike free reavers from the first strike 10 intercessors which are from dark imperium five hell blasters which are including the dark imperium box set three inceptors primaris captain in, in gravis armor and um, two primaris lieutenants a primaris ancient easy to build aggressors for 20 pound easy to build redemptor dreadnought which is 25 pound 
easy to build Primaris Reavers, which are ten pound. Primaris Apothecary, which is twenty two pound fifty. Oof. Primaris Chaplain, which is twenty two pound fifty. Even oof. And Primaris Librarian, which is twenty two pound fifty. I uh, can't understand why they did that for the HQs. Space Marine Heroes, Cataphracty Armor and Chaplain, which are thirty pound. Space Marine Scouts, which is fifteen pound fifty. A Space Marine Scout with sniper rifles, which is fifteen pound fifty. Attack bikes, which are sixteen pound fifty. A bike squad, which is twenty pound. A Primaris Repulsor, which is fifty pound, and a Primaris Land Speeder, which is eighteen pound fifty. So the adep uh, the estimated adept as a status value is three hundred and forty eight pound fifty. But with the adept as a status, there was an exclusive model in there as well. It, it, I, I'm sure it's going to be like a Primaris Lieutenant or something. He's like pulling a sword out of his scabbard. Looks really, really cool. I'll try and find the picture and put it in the background if I can, like a nice full full uh, wrench picture. But that looks really, really cool. One of the cool things about the Adeptus of Status side of this collection is that GW announced that they're going to be doing something where they're going to be making a chapter along with this magazine called the Silver Templars. Now, if you say Templar to me, I think Dawn. So I'm wondering if these chaps are going to be from the Dornian um, gene seed. I don't know if it's going to be a Primaris-only chapter. I would think so, because you, you find, you're finding now that... Um, all the new chapters which are being uh, made by Gilliman and everything are more or less full of Primaris Marines and stuff like that because apparently they're better. That's another argument for another day, but I'm not going to get into that now. So I'm wondering where they're going to go with this. I, me, me being a Dornian fanboy, if they do that, and it is Silver Templars, then I think I'm going to start a Silver Templar force. I know I've got my executioners there, but I'm sure they won't mind if I give some love to some more Sons of Dawn. But... There's one thing is that if it is Dawn, then I've got a feel for the Black Templars because you're basically getting replaced by the Silver Templars and I kind of find that kind of crapper since Black Templars haven't really had that much love. But I'm sure that's going to be revealed later on um, uh, in the magazines. Hopefully I'll get mine at the end of this month and hopefully it'll have some Silver Templar stuff in there and I can bring it, uh, I can show it off in a video and all that kind of awesome stuff. Now the last bit is the terrain. Of course you get a ton of terrain in here and it looks absolutely Schmexer. So you get Sector Imperialis Objectives, which are £20. Minotaurium Armored Containers, which are £30. Sector Mechanicus Galvanic Servo Haulers, which are £25. How do you even pronounce that right? Battlefield Accessory Set, which is £12. Thermic Plasma Regulators, which are £15. Hermatrobe Reactors, which are £25. Thermic Plasma Conductors, which are £22.50. Galvanic Magnavanic or Prometheum Forge, uh, which is uh, £45. He says he's not sure which one that is. Uh, the Rise of Pattern Ruins, which is £17.50. So the estimated terrain value is £212. So if you get all the models, if you start from num uh, pre um, issue one and you buy... Um, sorry, you you go all the way to the end to uh, the... Um, to the last one which is you know eta and let's say you get all these models included in the basic subscription so that is 876 pounds worth of models that means if you have the basic subscription you're saving 251 pounds worth of your cash buying this magazine i think one of the really cool things about this is that from the armies that i listed there from the death guard or the space marine standpoint you can basically start an army for either one of those factions. It's kind of crappy that they didn't have any Xenos in there, but it looks like from a marketing standpoint, they're doing it where, uh, you know, you can start a Death Guard force or a Space Marine force. That's what they've gone for. So that's why they haven't included like any Orcs in there to, like, to spice up a bit. They want people to collect the full series so they can make a full on armor. Now, if you buy the premium edition and you start from number one all the way to issue eight then you're saving 131 pounds so again these premium boxes which you get in with dice and um, extra you know like gaming mats and stuff like that um at the moment, I'm not too sure if it's going to be worth it. Of course, I'm going to buy it anyway because I'm going to be giving the stuff away. But for a basic consumer like yourself, I'm not sure if that will be worth it. You. Hopefully, they'll reveal what that more is, what they said, because I think that could add to the price of that. It's just interesting to see where they go with that. I think if they want people to jump on board with the premium subscription, then they should list absolutely everything 
you get with that premium subscription, not just say more in the title. So I'm hoping we get some more information about that very, very, very soon. All right, that is me done for another video. So yeah, you're saving some big, big cash if you go into this from you know issue one all the way to issue eight. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna be jumping on board. I'm gonna be buying it. The stuff I don't need, I'm gonna be giving away on my channel to you chap. So if you're probably a Death Guard fan, I'm gonna be giving some of the Space Marine stuff away since I've got doubles of that already. Um, but yeah, I'll be trying to give away as much as of it as possible to you chap so if just keep watching and i'll announce videos and when i'm giving stuff away what well, my 40,000 subscription um should be live now on the website i'll put that in the description as well you can go over and sign up for it for those of you who are in the test phase you should have already received an email about the first four copies coming very very soon for free so we don't have to sign up for the first the four copies since we were included in the test batch uh, of people and um, so yeah look out for that in your emails make sure you go to your junk and stuff because i know a lot of people have been saying i can't find it but it's in the junk folder so that's where it is if i get any more information about this i will be posting it on my channel and of course i will be showing it off once i get the magazines on my channel as well i'll get my webcam down and we'll go through every page and look at all the stuff hopefully like i said we can get some of that silver templar law and see what is going on with them once again thank you for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've had a good time and i shall see you all very very soon see you now and bye bye